Blah 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 We are leaving. It is 8:30. Two. <laughs> I wanted to go by 8:30. I wanted to go by eight, but it's 8:30. And uh, we're gonna go across the bridge. I've showed you so many things that I show you all the time that I'm not gonna show you them again. Other than today is 21st of October. I stayed there last night and the water's turned off. And Kawadin Casino and St. Ignace, when they turn the water off, you stay for free. I was gonna park just in the parking lot today because I didn't want to pay, it's up to 30 bucks now. But when they turn the water off, they don't charge you to stay. So I stayed for free. Looks like they redid the parking lot up there and they have this all torn up that they're apparently gonna redo this parking lot since I came up here in May, I think it was May. So I've been up here like five months. All right, so free, but I did lose 20 bucks. I went and gambled like a dummy. I waited till really late and I was like, ah, I might as well and I shouldn't have, so bleh. But we're heading to the bridge. Vinny should be here within a matter of seconds. Vinny's here. Hi, Vinny. That's not how you normally sit. Get in your spot. There you go, buddy. All right. Oop, oop. So we're going. Filling airbags going. Belt squeaking in the morning. All that good stuff of a 25-year-old RV. <laughs> but it's chugging right along. Turn some running lights on. And texted the voice, and the voice texted me back, and she's leaving too. She has to go to Wisconsin today. All right, I'm fiddle farting around, driving like a maniac. Hopefully I edited that out. It, like I said, it's 8.30. GPS tells me I should be there by 3.30. I'm hoping for five. <laughs> also, YouTubers, I told you I'd be on camera a little bit more. Uh, you can probably hear that belt. You can see the billy goat. I cut that thing off. Dude, shut up. I'm not going your way. I'm going my way. The billy goat has been cut off. It's going to grow back. But yeah. Oh, all right. That's all I got. I'll probably turn it around for crossing the bridge and all, you know. So I expected it to be cold this morning. So I had jeans and a sweatshirt and all that kind of stuff on. And because it, it was a little chilly last night, my darn, you know, because I stayed for free. I didn't have to pay. That was awesome. I had my heated mattress pad on, but it went off. I didn't have it all through the night. So I woke up kind of cold. And then by getting ready this morning, I was like, I gotta put shorts back on. It was too hot. I think I'm going a little faster than I need to go. I can't see. It's blinding me. If you think it's bad for you, it's blinding me. Is this what the bridge is gonna look like? I think it is. Maybe it'll look cool. Maybe it'll cause some cool shadows or something. I don't know. But I'm gonna shut up. It is 57 degrees. Why did that feel warm? <laughs> this video a while back now was for this place up here, the Mackinac Pasty and Cookie Company. Um, I do not recommend it. There it is, on your right. Mackinac, uh, 13 bucks for a pasty. No thanks. 13 bucks for a pasty that wasn't good. Double no thanks. But uh, when I get back up here, maybe we'll try some different and new pasties. I know where we're going. All right, now the next thing will be uh, the bridge. Sun's off to the left, so that's good. Cars are four dollars. RVs are ten. Sometimes I get charged each. Let's see what happens and today. It's either going to be ten or four, so I have both in my pocket. Let's see what they charge me. How you doing? Good. Thank you. You too. <laughs> she charged me. She charged me four bucks. I saved six dollars. Oh, that's nice. All right. Now we're gonna go. Some of them think it's a van. Some think it's an RV. It depends on who you get at the toll booth. Now let's cross the Mighty Mac, huh? It really is a beautiful bridge. I wish I had some bridge music, but I don't. So we're just going to cross it without Oh, look, there's a freighter going under the Mac right about the same time. Isn't that kind of lucky? Come on. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that's one that we've seen. That's pretty neat, right? 
So if they're going to Superior, they got to go up here, hang a left, get to St. Mary's River, and go through the locks. Go right by Nebish Island, if that's where they're going. No music, but there is a cool radio station that the bridge runs that gives you all the history of it. So if you cross it, tune into that. Yeah, good boy, Eddie. Really cool, 200 feet above the water. Good, tired. 45 right on the dot. Now I feel some wind. I've lost track on how many times I've crossed the Mighty Mac, and if you really want that Radio G Wiz information, just check my channel. I got a bunch of crossings where I played it for you. That ship is going under right now. That's pretty cool, right, as we're going over. This video is super long, and you're on the bridge crossing section of the video. This is an odd day, because almost always there is construction going on, and there's really none today, so it was nice. And the grates will make you wiggle. So the Mighty Mac is about five miles long, and for people like you and me, it's got a speed limit of 45 miles an hour. Need more air in the airbag. Can't see that freighter yet, poking its nose out, but I'm sure it is. I think I'm past it. Semi's got to go a lot slower, and they got their blinking lights on all the time. Oh yeah, there's more wind. I thought I felt some wind. Not terrible, but a little bit. I can't see that freighter yet. Oh, I see it in my rear view mirror, my side view mirror. Out on the lake. I almost always stick to the speed limit of 45. I like never speed on here. It just seems like a good idea to me to stay the speed limit. Ooh, that's a gust. All right, here comes another one. So we're almost there. Fort Mackinac. I think it's kind of expensive to go look around there, which would still be cool, but pretty neat. But uh, that's a, that's a treacherous strait right there. Mackamillanac. All right, there you go. That is the bridge. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna do more, but I'm gonna shut this thing up for a few minutes and just drive. Good news from the land of driving, driving, driving. My uh, air ride airbags seem to be holding air better this morning. Fingers crossed I don't have to refill them every three minutes. And that's like three to five minutes I'm pushing that button. So looks like they're gonna hold air better today. No idea why. Don't understand anything. A little bit of fall color here. The sun's blinding me, so I'm not going to record much for now. It's pretty in the lower, too. I'm going to let this run for a couple minutes. Maybe I'll voice over it. Maybe I'll give you music. I don't know. I just don't feel talky, but it looks pretty. So I guess welcome to the fall leaf section of this video. I'm trying not to make it as long as it's going to be. You see, a lot of van life is about driving, and sometimes you drive through ugly places and sometimes you drive through beautiful places, so I figure I'd throw you some beautiful out there, and we'll give you some music. Alright, that's probably enough, don't you think? Might be enough. And uh, when you drive an RV, not for everybody, for, for most of us, when you drive an RV, everybody's passing you. 
Here comes a whole string of them. Cars seem to run in packs, don't they? I am doing a whopping 68 miles an hour in a 75, so. And it says now 3.33 that I'll be arriving there, so I lost time even just to the bridge. All right, that's enough for now. It's still beautiful in fall. I really wish these colors would be like this all year round. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? But that ain't how nature works. Oh, I don't know if you can see how beautiful that is, but that is beautiful. Fall is just an amazing time of year. I get why it's some people's favorite time of year. I like the fall days that are like out of the ordinary warm, <laughs> but you get the colors. I like those days like swimming in Lake Superior on the last day of September. That's not something you do all the time. Even though there's going to be, it's, it's October, there's going to be some unseasonably warm days all around the country today on the 21st. I think it's going to be almost 80 degrees in Dayton where I'm heading. Crazy. Crazy. Saw like a week ago it was over 85 in Minneapolis. Just nuts. Just crazy. It's a thing. This is happening, I'm gonna record it. I'm passing someone. Well, I'm doing 70 going downhill. 73. Still not speeding. Alright, back to normal. Now I'll get past. <laughs> I like that sound of crinkly leaves in the fall. I like driving over my love driving over gravel. Slow, we can hear the gravel crackle and pop almost like Rice Krispies, but way cooler. Yeah. I like that. Pretty. Windy. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's windy. Just gorgeous. What is there to say? You know, I should ramble about something like really meaningful and deep and all that kind of stuff, but it's pretty just to look at it. And then it kind of goes away. Gas just went crazy expensive. What the heck? I guess I should have filled up yesterday. Put another 10 gallons in and see if that, uh, drops down because that's a lot nature wins people there's good artists out there but my goodness this is just beautiful quietly admiring the stunningness Stunning, amazingly stunning, pretty stunning, not as stunning, great stunning, that kind of thing as you drive. Gonna have to get gas soon. I just don't know why it spiked. I have an idea. Hey GoPro, guess what? Hey YouTubers, guess what? I uh <laughs> I screwed up. The last time I uh was checking gas buddy for gas we were in uh, the Voices van, and that's diesel. 
I was wondering why gas got so expensive. It's 319. It's not uh 380. <laughs> oh god, I don't got diesel to put in this thing. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna get gas in here and then we're gonna keep moving. That was honestly kind of hilarious. I was starting to get angry. <laughs> I was like, what is going on with these stupid gas prices? And then I go, oh. <laughs> until I decided I was going to pay it, you know, all right, I guess I got to get gas. I'll take this one. <laughs> Not 379, 319. Diesel is a lot more expensive. All right, that's all I got for now. I'm going to think of something to ramble about to make it worth something, but I don't know when that's going to be. Oh, that big ball of sun in the middle of the thing. Uh, I have a feeling Eddie has a personality. Vehicles have personalities. I think Eddie knows he's going back home, air quotes, for the winter. And he just wants to rest. And he just wants to get to the paddock. Like a horse that knows my day of riding little kids around on the saddle is about done. There's the paddock over there. I want to run and get to the paddock and just rest. I think that's what he's doing interesting story when I was a young kid grow, growing up in New York City I went with friends upstate and they took us horseback riding I'd never been on a horse before I wasn't scared but I was excited and I mean I was five or six I was little maybe seven at tops I don't know so first thing they get me on a horse this horse, for some reason, rolled over with me on it. They got me a different horse. And I was like, oh, I'm fine, all right, whatever. I got on this horse, and that's why I just told you the paddock story. I was right behind the, the guide, you know, in just a little train. It was boring, you know. And uh, he points, he turns around, and he points over to this fenced paddock area across the field and he says this is where the horses go when they're off work you know when they just want to relax and frolic and within like 10 seconds my horse just took off just went flying straight for that fence and I'm bouncing and trying to hold on you know I don't know I'm a kid I don't know how to ride a horse and he comes running up and grabs the reins and gets the horse back <laughs> So my first horseback riding experience was quite, uh, quite eventful. And I, I like horses, but the voice used to have a horse when she was a kid, because she's like that. She was kind of spoiled, I guess. She might watch this and laugh. She was not spoiled, but she did have a horse. But I don't think I've been, I've ridden a horse since maybe 20, it's been a long time since I was maybe 20, somewhere in there, I don't know. But I look down again and Eddie, he just wants to run. He wants to get down to that paddock and rest for the winter. That's all I got for now. 380 miles left to go. Oh, stay on the road, Eddie. As I told you guys before, I'm inserting a picture right here. Um, I took Eddie and they tried to fix him my ABS isn't working, so I usually have a brake light and an ABS light on. But it's so old that they don't make the parts for it anymore. Well, those lights went off. They've been on. They went off, so maybe it's just a bad connection where... I don't know, but... I don't know. We'll see if they come back on. It's weird. It's the first time I've seen them off. And... Uh, six months probably weird but he's running fine so everything's good this car goes by me here I'll, I'll touch my brakes to make sure I got brakes make sure it didn't totally give loose let's see yep I got brakes maybe those will go off when I'm uh Sorry, I was cursing at a driver, a bad driver. Maybe they'll stay off when I go to sell Eddie one day. I'm not selling you, Eddie. And if I do sell Eddie, um, 
there's a lot of little things that I will tell people about. There's a lot of little things. But he's still a great RV fan, whatever. But he's 25 years old, you know? Which is probably like 90 in human years, I don't know. He's doing 75 again right now, so he wants to get to that paddock. He can, the engine runs strong. It won't look like it. Oh, are we crooked? We've been that crooked, I apologize. I don't know if that's level or not, I can't tell. It might not look like it, but that's that's a decent sized hill coming up. And uh, again, I don't stomp on him, so he starts slowing down as we start going up. 72 right now. 70. I never feel the need for him to downshift hard and go there. Eh, he still runs great. Still runs great. Pretty trees, not quite as far along, you can tell. A lot more yellows, a lot less oranges and reds. Not far away, though. It's warm today. says it's 66 wherever I'm at. Garish Township, that's where it says I am. I'm supposed to get up to 78 at least by 3 p.m. It's pretty friggin' warm for October 21st. All right, hopefully that sun's not bothering you guys. It's not bothering me too much because it's above, it's above uh, the roof line. I don't even have to put the visor down. If I'm level, that doesn't, I, nothing looks level anymore. Maybe my head's crooked. Alright, still doing 70. Let's slow down. I want to do like 63 to 5. I'm talking, but I ain't saying nothing, am I? Don't you click dislike. Don't you do it. I don't think I've ever clicked a thumbs down. I don't think I've ever done it in my life. I think it all the time. What? I just figure people doing the best they can, why should I do that? Unless they're just being jerks, then I just stop watching them. I don't watch a lot of RV YouTubers. I probably should, I might learn a thing or two. Alright, that ramble is done. Go we're doing it again, we're doing it again, we're passing somebody. <laughs> I stopped for gas, I think it might be the same somebody. But hey, we're still passing people. It counts. I think that's two. <laughs> I'm passing another somebody. And of course they sped up. Yeah. I gotta speed. Make me go so fast. There, we passed you too. That was faster than I need to go. Alright, I just gotta laugh. <laughs> I just got passed by a truck and I'm doing like 75 right now which again I want to slow down I gotta make myself slow down it's 70 degrees here October 21st crazy northern Michigan but anyways this truck goes flying by me and I'm like offended and like you're driving like a lunatic what's wrong with you and then I laughed because I used to be well if I'd have got caught for some of the things speeds I was going I'd probably right about now be getting my license back, you know. I did not mind driving fast whatsoever. I didn't do it, I didn't cut in and out of traffic a lot. I didn't cut in, I didn't really do anything stupid, I just went fast. And now, I look at those people like there's something wrong with them. All right, it's hot in here. I got the sun beating on me. Luckily, it's not hitting you, Vin, but I'm gonna open the window and shut up my talking hole. All right, we're making good time. In a half an hour, I went 40 miles. So that's pretty good. But now I'm gonna go a little slower, probably. There's more traffic today. It's been a while since I've been in much traffic traffic. This isn't traffic, but 
Or you get up in a UP. All right, here comes the Zilwaukee Bridge. I always got a film going over the Zilwaukee Bridge. I'll probably mute it. This Mac, this Ram is going quick. This is a very bad and bouncy bridge. Opening my window to keep it cool. I can't believe how warm it is. I also sincerely apologize about the audio. I always think it's weird that bridges have, this bridge has dips and rises. <laughs> it's kind of like a roller coaster. It's quite odd. I'm going to get over it. I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, so pretty out there. That river is just glistening with the sun and all the leaves turning. It's really beautiful. Really beautiful. Windows opening again. Also, the camera positioning might make you think I'm not in my lane, but I That's am. the Zilwaukee Bouncy Bridge with... <laughs> I guess it's safe. You would think it would be like levelish, not rise and falls. But the road surface is just so bad. It's terrible. Maybe somebody will tell me it's... Uh, for traction in the winter, but I don't know. That bridge is a mess. So I just saw a billboard. The GoPro's overheated. I saw a billboard it said, Welcome to Genesee County, which is the county I am now currently in. And it was a picture uh, and signed by Sheriff, whatever Goober name is, sitting in his cruiser trying to look tough. So to me, is that a genuine welcome or is that? sort of kind of a threat you know what I mean like I'll put you in jail I don't know so I'm gonna let this uh, cool down for a little bit long and then I'll try to put it back in the window GoPros gotta 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 love GoPros all right so we got this traffic jams been a few miles gonna be a few more miles but we're moving slowly and the GoPro seems to have calm down I think charging it you know heats it up they just everything about GoPro's batteries are just never good but you don't need to see this any more than I want to be in it so oh we're through that but at the end I ran over a, a break in the road that I had to look back to see if anything fell off my van oh my god All right, that was not fun, but could have been worse, and we're going to keep going. Was I recording that? 77 degrees, October 21st, I'm in a t-shirt and shorts, and I'm sweating, and people are golfing on a beautiful day. That doesn't seem normal, and I got somebody who's been following me for the longest time. Stop following me! All right. We're gonna keep going. 4.30 is still my goal. I don't think I'm gonna make it though. All right, I was just thinking, this van is 25 years old. That person that's been following me has been following me like 30 miles at least, been right behind me. So I just wanna give a public service announcement. This is a great van, great van. But if you're out on your travels and you happen to see me on the highway and you're behind me, I'm not sure staying behind me that long is the greatest idea. Because if you watch the old video, uh, I had it checked afterwards, but my generator tried to fall out. It rusted. The bolts where it's bolted to the frame rusted. So it's fixed with a couple 2x4s and it's bolted in. And it should be fine, but I haven't gotten it fixed yet. And like I said, they told me everything under there looked pretty good. But if you're behind me on the highway, if you see me on your travels, might be a good idea not to be behind me. I think with the placement of my generator that if it was to let loose and fall, there's going to be trouble for everybody, probably including me. Maybe that's why putting them under the back end is better because if they fall out there, you'll probably won't run over them. All right, that's a mostly funny thought. Hopefully none of that will ever happen. Again, I'm doing over 70. And if I slow down to 65, the person behind me slows right down. 
If I speed up to 70, they go right with me. It's weird. I've always been a fan of having rabbits when I used to drive fast. But a rabbit, like if you're speeding, you should have a rabbit where it's maybe a quarter to an eighth of a mile up ahead of you so that if they bring out a cop, you have time not to get a ticket with them. I usually don't have the patience for rabbits when I drive fast, but I get really irritated when they end up following me and you're like, you dummy, you're gonna get a ticket with me. You're right behind me, you're gonna get a ticket. All right, that's my thoughts on all that. I still haven't done, oh, I think this car's gonna pass me. They're gonna pass me. This Ford Explorer has been behind me forever. Not explore, it's a maverick. Some people like those little trucks. But that's enough of this stuff. I'm gonna turn this camera around. One of these, don't make me turn this camera around. Michigan is fixing the darn roads like she said they were. Much better. This is gonna be nice when it's all done. And I got lucky here, even though somebody cut me off and really, you don't change lanes when it says don't change lanes. On a single white line and there were signs saying don't change lane somebody cut me off and I'm going speed limit and they're gone but uh yeah they are fixing roads everywhere they don't do everything right but sometimes I get these roads looking gooder more gooder all right I'm gonna get out of the way and that's enough of that if you're still here, you know I've tried three different microphones with this crappy GoPro. Ann Arbor, next three. I thought I smelled something. <laughs> All right, I never do this, but I actually don't give a F. I just hit a pothole so bad that something, if any keeps going, it's because he's a, just a tank, but I'm staying in this lane. It was really bad. This truck moved over right behind me after it went over the same thing and I'm just staying behind him. I don't care. Five miles to the state line. Woohoo, Ohio. The GoPro dive. Oh, GoPro. It is 80 degrees at the state line. 80 degrees at the Michigan Ohio state line. That is insane. I'm putting this down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 75 to Dayton. Uh, 150 miles or so half a tank of gas I've put 245 miles on this tank I think it's less than half I'll get gas here in a little bit all right I am under 100 miles to go I just filled up with gas two dollars and 63 cents a gallon that's pretty good I've been running 70 most of the time, never below 65, mostly around 70. And for 300 miles, I got 14.45 miles per gallon and a pretty good wind. So for a 25 year old van, I'm doing pretty well. Um, the GoPro has been giving me a hard time. The, the wind's been pretty good. And uh, the voice just texted, texted me and she arrived in Wisconsin where she was going. So that's good. And I'm going to continue on route. Um, you see any traffic? Where did everybody go? Am I going the right way? <laughs> everybody seemed to want to go this way before. I got out of that gas station real easy, which I didn't expect. It's hot in here. It's really hot in here. So I'm not going to talk very long. Vinny's doing well and Eddie's running fantastic. I'm gonna move out of the way and people aren't gonna like it, but there's semis coming on. I had one semi pull out. He was on the side of the road and just started coming onto the road. He was in my lane a little bit and then there was a guy behind me and obviously a guy next to me, I couldn't move. He started coming in my lane just from the side of the road, thinking he had every right to do it, cut the people off, but it was pretty, it was pretty stupid. But uh, we're doing all right. Had a great drive so far. I'm gonna think if I got anything else to say, I'll probably turn the camera around and tell you that. If I don't, if I'm just beating the heat, have a great and wonderful day. 
I always hope you have a great and wonderful day. This truck wants to race now. Now I gotta go. My goodness, everybody being difficult today. It is 80 degrees and it is hot. That's 74, that's 75 miles an hour to get past this truck. All right, that's enough for now. Like I said, if I come back, yay, or boo, whatever you think. And either way, have a great and wonderful day. I gotta tell you, I don't know what happened to Ohio. <laughs> the last few years, it has changed quite a bit. I just got past, I'm doing 70 miles an hour, and I'm getting passed by semis. That did not used to happen in Ohio. It used to be every 10 miles, there was a cop in Ohio. I don't want those days back, but everybody needs it. Shut up, elf boy. It's been a long day, and I don't need to hear your lips smacking over that damn thing. Uh, but everybody just needs to calm the hell down. It's been a crazy day. I think they must think because it's 80 degrees, it's summer or something. They're all driving like idiots. Everybody. There's a guy stopped on the side of the road working on a truck. I had nowhere to go. He had to be six, eight inches from the road, for you know, from the lane over as far as the other guy would let me. Oof. Everybody calm down. How far we got left to go, Elf Boy? 62 miles to go. I'm gonna calm myself down. Have a great and wonderful day. Where's the Tylenol? All right, all right. Am I like a youper now? Because I'm back here, swear to you, I'm doing 70, 72 right now in Ohio. And I'm getting past like I'm um, in NASCAR with a broke ass car. You know what I mean? Semis, bus it. I mean, everybody is flying past me at 72 miles an hour. I think I've become a youper. I think I've become a youper. Huh. Everybody need to, I told myself I need to calm down. I'm gonna slow back down. 65, go around me. All y'all driving like idiots. All y'all mother yells are driving. I'm tired. I got a sweaty cat on top of me. And I'm hoping you guys have a great and wonderful day. Yeah, I kind of look like one of those NASCARs that doesn't have a hood, no bumper, just trying to get a point, you know, running around the lap. <laughs> Everybody's flying by me. It's to the point where I start wondering, maybe my speedometer's wrong. And then I'm like, I got the GPS plugged in. They both say the same thing. I don't think it's me. I think everybody now in Ohio just go. I saw cops sitting in the middle and didn't do nothing. I don't know what happened to Ohio while I was becoming a youper or something. <laughs> All right. I'm telling you, I think I'm going to tell you, have a great and wonderful day. I'm tired. I'm hot. I've got a cat on me for since 8 o'clock this morning. I'm kind of done. So... I had a great time in the U. I'll get to processing videos and helping my uncle and aunt move and voting and maybe see a doctor to see if everything's all right. Everything feels good. So for me, I don't want to see a doctor because I feel good. Maybe I should. And then uh, I'll head up back to the U where it's a little less crazy driving stuff. I mean, I'm doing 75 miles an hour right now. I'm doing 75, look at this. In a van, I'm doing 75 and these people are flying by me. It's crazy. It's not how I remember it back in the day. A trooper in Ohio would give you a ticket for three over. They almost took my license I was, I was driving. All right, again, I'm just tired, hot, and rambly now. Yeah, because it's 80 degrees. Ooh. We need the world to become normal again. Hopefully the world will become normal one day. I doubt it. Looks like it doesn't want to be normal anymore. If you made it all the way to the end, you have to put a comment saying so. And nobody stole my car while I was gone.